Why? Like, what? What is hot? I don't. National Deep Dish Pizza Day, April 5th, 2020. Congratulations. Why we got the makeup there. Hello everyone, how are you today? I hope you are doing well. I am doing excellent. So, of course, that's my break. Yeah, th that's my break. Um, I, I don't take breaks. I, I, I take breaks enough, okay? I take breaks enough. My life is better when I'm real busy, when I have something to concentrate on, when I can be creative, and when I can write, and therefore, because of that, your girl's not going to take a break from her channel for that long. I am also the girl that is apparently not supposed to ever get kicked off of the internet, according to several people in my inbox. I'm the apparently the girl that took on the aunties got kicked off Twitter, but I'm not going away. So because of that, I, I apparently just need to keep going. However, my content is anti-MLM, and so we are gonna be just doing that for a while. Because apparently when I dip into drama stuff, I, I hurt feelings. I make people so upset. I'm that girl that will come into a live stream and ask someone a question, and then she gets six six live streams where, where she's mentioned in because it was apparently so hurtful. So uh, apparently I got to be careful with boys feelings out here. They just, they, they, they can't take me. Um, so because of that, we'll, we'll just go back to a uh, hun bots because you know, hun bots, hun bots, I can talk about all day long. If they do a video back to me, it's about my actual MLM content instead of who I am as a person. It's not trying to expose me like people have been trying to do for several months and my personal information and nobody calls the cops on me. So it's a lot more fun. So without further ado, let's just get right into the MLM cringe guys. <laughs> Hello everyone, thanks so much for tuning in. My name is Beth or Queen of Spade. Please do give this video a like, subscribe if you're new here. Now, without further ado, let's throw some spade. Like always, we are going to be doing the r slash anti MLM subreddit. Yes, my account is suspended still. We've already talked about that, and I will not be talking about that again because, again, hurt feelings. So, multi level marketing schemes are a drain on our society. Its participants either build the pyramid taller or get squashed by it. I love it. I'm probably going to read it several times just because. I love it so much. So here we have the CDC giving us an urgent message. Okay, here we go. We are issuing an urgent and immediate call to duty for all homeopaths, naturopaths, chiropractors, acupuncturists, Reiki masters, crystal healers, health coaches, essential oil sales ladies, supplement hawkers, and all other alt med quacks. Quack, who make their living talking shit about real healthcare professionals and evidence-based medicine. It's time to put your fucking money where your big mouths are and report down to your nearest ER. If we don't see you, we fully expect that you'll all be just shutting the fuck up then forever. Yeah! That is the best thing I have seen in a long time. Look at that. Even the CDC is done with you. They're just done with you. They're like, you don't cure the coronavirus. You're not going to help anyone with anything. Shut the fuck up. I'm here for it. <gasps> no! Timmy and Tommy. No, save them from Herbalife. We can't have this. This needs to stop. Save the kids. Let's make this bigger. 
If you could chug down a little four ounce drink two days in a row, lose two to ten pounds of toxic sludge, rid your stomach of bloat, and get rid of fatigue all at once, would you try it? Comment yes below. And, of course, we got that it works before and after. Oh, we all know how much I love those. And the comment is where all of the comedy gold is. And they say, sounds like a colonoscopy preparation to me. No. No, 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 no. And that's true, sis. That's true. We can do without that. Thank you. It just doesn't sound like a fun weekend at all. If you want nails like mine, hit me up. No leaving your house required. And we have a cheetah hippie. Legit. Selling some color straight. Uh, then, oh, look at these nails. Look at them, though. So we have, like, cheetah print, and then we have, I think those are supposed to be roses, but you can barely see. And then we have just one plain one, and, I mean, uh could be so much better. I guess it could be worse, too, but, you know, it's MLM, so we hate it. Trust me, laughing out loud, nothing about network marketing is a scam. Do your research and let's talk. Shug, just some quick updates. Yesterday alone, Monat did over $3.7 million in sales, over 7,000 plus VIPs and over 1,000 plus MPs in the USA alone. This was in a single day, y'all. People are hungry right now for an opportunity. Yeah, because of the coronavirus. I hate you people. And we have an in-demand product. Don't assume this is a tough time to work your business. This is a prime time to be working it. This time is so sensitive. If I can help anyone get out of the situation they're in, I'm 100% going to keep talking about what I do. Listen, fuck you, Monat. Hair will fall out, and this isn't going to help anyone during the coronavirus. Stupid Hunbot. Oh, Lord. This is turning into the It Works, the It Works episode. So if you guys do want to hear about my story on It Works, I did a video about why I left It Works. And then I also actually did an interview with the recovering Hunbot. It's on her channel. And I also tell the story there as well. So, you know, you can pick whichever one you want to go watch. And if you aren't subscribed to her already, which I'm sure most of you are, go and give her a sub. I love her. She's an amazing woman. And she was just so kind, so sweet to me. We had so much fun. And it's someone that I've looked up to out here for a really long time. So I kind of fangirled a little bit. It, it was a good time. Anyway, on to this lovely It Works, it works pose because we all know that I just love It Works. <laughs> Hi! My company, It Works, has joined forces with another amazing company and made a hand sanitizer. Are you kidding me? Ugh! What do you mean? Why? Why did you do that? Because of the coronavirus. I just can't with this. This is making my head hurt. Everyone's using the virus to make the... <sighs> Our 100% alcohol-free, 99.9% .9 effective hand sanitizer will be available as of tomorrow, April 6th, for the price of $9.99 per 2 to 3 ounce bottles with no limit. This is for new and existing customers. Like, thank you. Th thank you. We, we needed to know that. Like, I don't even know why you had to say it, but okay. Please respond back with a yes or no to get more info. Again, um, yeah, that's usually how that would work. But thank you for giving me instructions. Now, please understand the reasoning behind the decision of it being available to our customers. We have friends in high places. I'm finding out some more info now, so I'll be able to answer some more questions if you have them. What do you mean you have friends in high places? You're, you're releasing a product. With your company, it's good. It should be for the customers. I, I don't understand what's going on. Why why is this a special thing? Isn't that what you do anyway? I'm just. I should have known it was an MLM. 
I do not support those, and judging by the message about this hand sanitizer, I doubt it meets CDC standards, right? Like, they just did it overnight, and there it was. MLMs are highly predatory companies in which 97% of people lose money. It's actually 99.4 or 99.6. Crap, now I don't even remember. Anyway, it's 99%. Especially it works. If you need info on getting out, let me know. The company we partnered with is BACD Alcohol Free Sanitizer and Wound Care Provider. I've never heard of that. Has anyone heard of that? Let me know in the comments if you know what that is. Their products are also used in hospitals around the world. Oh, uh, um, okay. In order to continue forward with an order for the hand sanitizer, I must let you know it is for new and current loyal customers. It must be ordered in conjunction with an additional order. Oh, there it is. It will then be sent from the warehouse directly to your address. Like, that's how you get a product into you. Anyway, for less contact by a middleman. What? Like, what? Okay. Okay. That, again, makes no sense, but... Hmm. You're dealing with an MLM, so yikes on bikes. <laughs> I like this person. I like you. You're funny. Every time I think it works, can't get grosser. There they go. Good luck. Hope it works out. Please don't message me back unless you are ready to get out, in which case I will help you. Please get a hold of me if you're stuck in an MLM. I will help you. I'm a good person. I know I throw spade. I know I'm sassy. I'm apparently intimidating. However, I am a very good person. I'm a nice person. I'm not really judgmental at all. I, I just uh, judge this shit and, and some other things. I, I, judge, I judge crappy people, okay? Crappy things and crappy people I will judge all day long. But other than that, I'm a good person. So please, yes, get a hold of me if you are stuck in an MLM. And I will do everything I can to help you get out in every way. For real. I absolutely love what I do and I don't need an out because I'm not trapped in. Do this. I'm not trapped in, do this, and our products, I'm not trapped in, do this, okay, I, I give up, I have no clue what that's supposed to say, and our products are also required to be CDC, FDA, etc. approved, thank you, and may God bless you, the thing is though, sweetheart, is that these can't be, because, like this person pointed out, like, <laughs> there's no way they could be, you, did this like overnight it was way too quick and you're announcing it to come out on the 6th and it's like hello this is probably like on the first that she's sending this so it's just, like there's no way that this product is going to go through all the appropriate testing and be out on the available for people on the 6th it's just not going to happen they're lying to you i'm very sorry please do get a hold of your friend here and get out. I really hope that you do. And screw it works for using the Corona. Like, I'm just so done with these companies using that. You mostly make money from sales of product or recruitment. I do not make any money recruiting others. I only make money off of product sales. Okay, so I just sign up through the website. I make 3k to 4k a month at home from doing porn. I don't have to buy any products and I just do it off Snapchat. I could show you how if you want free of charge. So there is a link in my bio that I could send you. Um, all right. Well, you go get it, Meredith. You go get it, girl. Uh, other than that, I think that this Hunbot just totally missed the whole point like she's just like i'll send you a link it's like sweetie did you did you not read oh, okay ah! roses are fitting for a graveside burial hashtag lula row this is my dress for today it was going to be my easter dress for easter sunday oh what okay first of all you're going to a burial a funeral a, a burial i'm I'm so sorry that somebody in your life has passed away. Can I just put that out there since you don't seem to be that affected by it, though? Uh, but I, I'm sorry ab about it. And I'm 
I just have to say, I, I would have saved this dress for Easter. This is not the dress. Usually for a funeral, you go in black. It's supposed to be like mourning, you know, like you wear darker colors, like navy blue could even do. Uh, but I would not wear a, a summer, springy flower dress that's like pink and purple I'd find that extremely extremely disrespectful you look way too happy there uh in those colors like you would and then the whole thing is it's also your LuLaRoe so then you have to question are you now at this funeral trying to sell people LuLaRoe because I have a huge problem with that. Like, that's going to about, that, I'm about to go off about that. Because here's the thing, here's the thing. You are a shit person. If you are going to go to a funeral wearing a printed flower dress just because it's from Lila Row, where you work your MLM, and wear that so that you can be all like, I'm wearing LuLaRoe. Have you heard of LuLaRoe? At a funeral. At a burial, lady. What is wrong with you? How inconsiderate are you? Do you have empathy? Are you a sociopath? I'm worried now. I am worried for society because you out here wearing LuLaRoe printed dresses to funerals. I can't with you. Go get some help. People say I need help. And then I see something like this and I'm like, well, I would never do this. Thanks. Okay, listen. This is friggin' hilarious. Philippine Customs sees 260. <laughs> Look at what it's in. It's in Herbalife containers. We have the Herbalife containers. Jesus. <laughs> See, I smoke. That's why I just had to cough. But this is funny. I can't with this no more. At least they can be used for something good. That's all I could say about that. Oh, no, do not ever, ever do international drug dealing. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying I support marijuana. I'm in Canada. It's legal here. It's even legal for recreation. I use it for myself and my mental health issues. It works very, very well for that. And yeah, but don't do this. However, however, this is probably the most useful Herbalife has ever been. All right, what is this? I don't even know. Uh, it works. Oh, there's another it works. I swear to God, this is turning into the it works episode and I didn't even want it, but here we are. All right, so thank you for your support. Woohoo! Shalandra just became a new loyal customer. Send them a welcome message and set a reminder follow up now. Oh, your purchase includes a 40 to 60% discount for life. Oh, yay. <laughs> Portion goes to stopping human trafficking. Wait, what? What are we doing out here? Oh, Lord, you guys are trying to stop human trafficking. Well, now I'm going to have to do a video about that. I'm going to have to start doing videos on your guys' fundraisers and all of your stuff because this is starting to drive me insane as well. So that's going to be coming up soon. 10% cash back on each purchase. Supporting a small business and family. Choosing to prioritize yourself. Uh, I hate it. I hate everything about this. Why? Like, what? what is happening? I don't, National Deep Dish Pizza Day, April 5th, 2020, congratulations, why we got the makeup there. We, we, then we have Lime Life, just, and here is an arm of makeup, because that has to do with National Deep Dish Pizza Day, which I didn't even know was a day, what do you know, there's a day for everything. So here we have Hunbot. It's not saying anything, I guess. And then, hey, girl, you look so cute in your last picture. Speaking of, are you looking to make some extra easy money? I've gotten all my friends into this super easy program to make money from home, and they all love it. Ugh. Yeah, we have all been there. 
and I never want to go there ever again. Um, starting the palette progress. Quarantine projects. And you got a bunch of the wood there. That's cool. That's what you need. We don't need to see the leg with the thrive sticker, but thank you very much for that. You look like a ghost. And I would just have not worn those pants if we were going to show off a leg. Learn how to leg model better. Okay, thank you. Oh, no. You guys know that I hate personal coaches. Like, not real ones. <laughs> I should probably have started with that. Um, being a personal coach is a real career that you can go to school for. And you can be a personal, it's actually a personal trainer. Um, and, you know, you can be a nutritionalist. These are real careers. And then we have people like this person that I'm about to read this comment from this message from and basically what this person did is they joined a company like it works and they just started calling themselves a health and wellness coach but they don't have any actual education any real training and I just find it so frustrating and I find it really insulting to the people that actually do go get the education and training to do this as a real job since you know there are actual wellness coaches out there that went to school just please if you are looking for someone to be that kind of trainer for you make sure that you go with somebody that is actually like working through a gym that you know that got education in that field and you know real training and not an MLM hunbot who is getting an hour-long training from her upline that night and then giving you advice like they did college for two years just don't do it. So we have this message that says, hello there. My name is Sally and I'm a personal wellness coach. You look like someone who is into the health and wellness industry. I don't know what that means. Like, how do you look like someone? Anyway, my company is always looking for new people who are willing to work and put their health and development first and help others do the same. Of course they are. If I can show you how to not only help people, but also make some extra money around what you are currently doing, would you like to take a look? No thanks. <laughs> Good answer. Just say no. Say no to MLMs, kids. Say no. The most common things I hear from people is that they feel bloated, are stuck losing weight, and have been fluctuating at the same weight forever. I feel tired all the time, want to target their stomach area only, and I'm like, cleanse, 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 you need our cleanse. Ugh, how annoying. We can hold up to two to... 12 pounds of toxic sludge in our bodies and it can be the reason for all of that listen if you have 12 pounds of toxic sludge in your body you need to go to the hospital okay go to the hospital our all natural plant-based two-day cleanse will clear your system and help you lose that 2 to 12 pounds jump start your weight loss de-bloat Debloat is a word, apparently, and get you feeling good again. I'm looking for five people who want to try it out at my cost. Peep what it does in the comments. I'm good, sis. I'm good. Oh my goodness. Easter is coming. And you see the spelling. I don't have to point it out any more than that. Because we got pure romance. You see what we're selling. Pure romance can help. Who said Easter baskets were just for kids? Get in on these great deals on Rabbit Vibes only. Vibrators, 10% off one or 20% off three. Leave the Easter Bunny alone, okay? Do not attack the Easter Bunny with your dildos, okay? He does not want this. He said no twice. Quick, recreate this pic with things close to you. And we got a girl holding Arbon because that's what we want. Just no. I agree with the poster. No. This made me laugh a little bit. I have to share it with all of you. Worst MLM name. I was thinking, as one does, about how much I hate MLMs. Curled up in bed, self 
isolating, pondering how incredibly fucking dumb half the brand names and made-up terms they use make me want to cave my own skull in. So, what's the worst one for you? Personally, mine is Longevity. It doesn't scan as a name. I know, I could barely just say it. Longevity. It doesn't scan as a name. It sounds stupid. It sounds like you forgot what word you were writing because you had a fit halfway through the branding. If you're going to do a pyramid scheme, at the very least, be basically competent about your fucking product name. My God! Am I worked up about this? Yes. But I've been mostly alone in the house for the past 20 days. So please forgive me. You're forgiven, and I agree. So let's take a look at, uh, what, uh, names people say. And the very first comment is, I cringe every time I see it works in here because the name sounds so stupid and scammy. It also does not work. They might as well call it. It's not a scam. Scene gents, hands down. This one's horrible. It literally sounds like it will make you look old. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Isogenics. English is not my mother tongue. Every time I read it, I somehow read it in my language, in my dialect. And in my dialect, this name sounds like I say nothing. I don't even know how to pronounce isogenics correctly. Isogenics frankly sounds more like some sci-fi genetic mapping and cloning company. It really does, though. Like isogenics, because the universe could always use more you. <laughs> I love it. I've actually got the opposite problem. Unique is such a nice play on words. Why did it have to be wasted on such a shit company? The Huns are called uologists. I call them pooologists. Yes, and we all call unique poonique. Sweet minerals. Yeah, that's just, that sounds boring to me. Mascara, because they don't sell mascara. <laughs> I always imagine it leading to a whole who's on first routine. Love your lipstick. What is it? Mascara. No, no. I mean your lipstick. Mascara. <laughs> Why not? So stupid. In my mother language, German, Monat means month. Especially when you find out it's pronounced Monate. It's even worse. Yeah, apparently it's not Monat. Apparently it's Monate. And, yeah, it, it, it is worse. It sounds so much better as Mona. Anyway, just saying. Conlingus. I don't even know this one, and I couldn't say it either, so agreed. It's a penny auction MLM company that collapsed around 2015. I'm going to have to take a look at that. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want me to take a look at this company here, and we'll take a little deep dive on it, like, next week. FYI, there's another whole world of MLM scams beyond these better-known beauty wellness product ones. Yes. Behind MLM.com does a great job. Yes, they do. And there are thousands of scams on there. Yes, there are. I actually do use that site as well often. To really know how pervasive MLM is and to kill some time, visit that site. It's a good one. It really is. I highly recommend it. I might add it actually to my, my uh, sources down below. <laughs> The MLM scam OneCoin that used fake cryptocurrency as its lure was covered thoroughly throughout the years. And actually, yeah, I've been looking into that one. Um, I've been trying to figure out the whole cryptocurrency MLM thing. But I think I already told you guys that I've been trying to figure it out. Except I'm no good at math. The cryptocurrency is so confusing to me. But I'm almost there. I feel like I've almost got it. And then I plan on doing a whole episode on just the cryptocurrency MLMs. We'll talk about what they are. We'll talk about like all of the ones that exist briefly. And then we'll talk about why they're bad. So yeah, that that's what was a $4 billion MLM investment scheme. MLM is so much worse than you could have ever imagined. It really is, though. Um, the more you look into it, the worse it gets, too, by the way. Just letting you know. As someone that's been doing it for going on three years now, it, it, it just gets worse and worse and worse. I hate Arbon because it sounds like a makeup brand, but it's food or vitamins, something non-beauty product. 
It's true, actually, now that you mention it. Secret, sake, secret also bothers me because I ended up at a secret party and the one hun kept saying secret agent every time she brought out a hand cream and it was weird. <laughs> that actually is weird. I would, it's like, where am I? I'm at a 007 party all of a sudden. What happened here? <laughs> that was so fun. I liked that. Another it works. So here's the thing about it works. If you are actually wondering why there seems to be so many it works posts right now, I can tell you it is springtime. It works often kind of dies down after Christmas for a few months. They don't really sell anything in like January, February, March, and then they start popping up again you know, to tell everybody that they need to get onto their summer weight. And that's kind of what they do. Then they go hard all summer and they try to go hard all the way to Christmas again. And then, like I said, it will die down. And that's kind of how the sales go for It Works, unless you are in a place like California, which is summer all the time. However, for most of us, we get winter time. And to be honest, come Christmas, most people aren't caring about their weight. Some people might sign up in January for like their New Year's resolution, and then they tend to fall off by this time, of course, because even the loyal customer program will end for them at the end of March, and like I keep bringing up, not many people do it for longer than three months, so that's why there's the 90-day challenges. And so that's why they're kind of like out hard right now. They're like, all right, we need to get all the people we can for the summer. So you will see it works out more than ever in this moment in the spring and the beginning of the summer is their biggest time. So it says people will say, say what they think they need to say. I just, that whole sentence just messed me up because she messed it up and now I messed up. Do you see what happens? Learn how to edit. People will say, say what they think they need to say. You will get people who will say it's a scam, pyramid scheme, and all of the above. It'd be weird how y'all will let someone else determine how much money you could be making. So I shouldn't listen to you either? All right, cool. I wouldn't be doing this if it was. I was sketched out in the beginning, but I said yes. The best yes you could possibly say. I want to help others feel confident in their self. And I want to help people make an extra income. It's really up to you if you want to put yourself in a better situation. Join my team today. I think we got time for one more. The whole world has anxiety right now. So what's stopping you from trying CBD? Honey, I think you've had too much of it. You'll look a little crazy. Uh, see, I've already done an entire episode, actually, on uh, one of these companies, Hemp Works, and I suggest you check it out. Uh, however, there, I have a huge issue with the CBD MLM companies because of the fact that marijuana, CBD, all that stuff, it has taken us so long to make it legal and make it even recreational where I am here in Canada. And so because of how long it took to do that, okay, just hear me out. The last thing I want now is a bunch of pyramid scheme companies coming in and trying to use that to do their pyramid schemes, muddying up the entire industry. Okay, because there's a lot of people that sell this stuff legit. There's a lot of people out there. I even have friends that do, by the way. I have friends that have their licenses to sell their oils. They sell their edibles. I have a friend of mine that makes it out of her home and sells them. That is amazing to do. A lot of people don't know how to, how to cook into edibles. And honestly, edibles help a lot of people. Not everyone can smoke, and I don't suggest smoking for everyone. Not everyone can handle THC. However, the CBD oil without the THC works. If there is anyone out there that ever does have any questions on that, I do know a lot of information. You can get a hold of me, and I can direct you to better places to go for that than MLMs, okay? I promise there are lots of places to go for that that are legit. So I do not want these MLM companies coming in, first of all, taking business away from those people that are doing it in a legit way, which I totally respect and think we need more of. And then secondly, 
just muddying up things legally, right? Because of how long it took us to get this legal and be able to use it. It's like we just don't need scam companies muddying up the waters for that. So it's a huge worry for me as someone that has been pro-legalization since high school and that's advocated for it since high school and I'm 33. We just got it. Stop messing with it. I will be so mad if something goes wrong and we have to really start cracking down even more on laws or something just because of these companies. I see it happening if this continues. So I feel like, yes, we do need to put a stop to these MLM CBD companies. I'm sorry, but I do. That's my say on it. And I'm going to end the video there because that's enough ranting for me today. I feel like some of you come here sometimes to hear me rant. I try not to be too ranty here, but it, a lot of you guys like it. A lot of you like it. You, you think it's funny, so whatever. I, I give it to you. So guys, I hope you enjoyed my, um, my, my return video. Uh, yeah, I don't take a break for long, like I said, so, uh, I'm back. I, I didn't even want to take a break. I was told I needed one. I, I was told that I had to take a break because I was unable to deal with the drama that other people were creating for me. So that was interesting. So I'm back and uh, we're just going to continue on with our anti-MLM. I have a lot of stuff planned, of course. I have a lot of stuff that I have been putting together all week because <laughs> what's a break? And so I got a lot coming your way. I'm really super excited for it. So please do give this video a like. Subscribe if you're new. I would love to have you come and follow me on Instagram. Come and follow me on Facebook. That's about all I have right now because aunties keep shutting down my um, social medias. And no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, I hope that you all have a fabulous day. And if you ever do do CBD oil, please don't do as much as this girl, okay? She, she looks like she needs to slow down. Bye! Yeah, yeah.